What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Thank you for checking out my channel. Now, if you don't know what I do on this channel, I've been building a Honda two-stroke, a CR125, and I've been building it from scratch. I'm gonna make it a 2021, 2001 Honda two-stroke. So it's gonna be a retro bike with some modern upgrades. In this video, I've got quite a lot to be working on. I'm gonna be restoring the seat, and then I should be taking delivery of some quite major parts, so we should be able to make quite a lot of progress on the build on this video. First things first, what I need to do, I'll show you the seat, and I'll show you the condition that it's in, and then you're gonna come with me, and I'm gonna grab some cleaning products, and then hopefully later when we get this delivery, we can crack on, and we're gonna make some major progress on this bike. So if you wanna see the bike get built, stick around, and I'll sit back, relax, I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so what I've done so far is I've started off by cleaning up the seat and what I've used is this True Tension foam cleaner which is just amazing for getting all the grime off. Obviously because it's leather, you have to treat it like it's skin. So it needs to be cleaned, it needs to be moisturized. That way it stays nice and supple and doesn't crack. So I've used this Auto Gleam leather cleaner that's got into all the grain of the leather and it's cleaned it up really, really well. And then obviously because it's a really old seat, the CR logo on it is faded. And before, before I go and put a new seat cover and graphics on this bike, I started off with the intention of it being a restoration rather than a, a build. So until I get a new seat cover, which I will do down the line, I'm gonna see what I can do to restore this seat. Now, I've actually got some experience with something similar because I used to paint sneakers. And I know of a really good leather paint, which I think is gonna work because it's flexible. So when you paint it on the leather, it doesn't crack and it doesn't peel, so it's really good. So what I'm gonna be using is this Angelus acrylic leather paint. So when I paint that on and re retouch up the logo, because it's designed for leather, it should be flexible and it hopefully won't crack. So that is my next job, to restore the logo. And then while all that was going on, my delivery has come in. So let me show you the parts that I've also got. Let me show you what's turned up. Got front and rear wheels have turned up. The rear wheel is in pretty good shape. I'm obviously gonna need to tidy up the rim and the spokes and true the wheel up. Tires are absolutely shot because there's a puncture in there, so probably gonna need an in-tube. Sprocket looks like it's still got a fair bit of life left on it and the brake disc is, is still good. The bearings are good. I've also got the front wheel. That tire is absolutely shot, so I'm gonna need to get a pair of tires. That one didn't have a front brake on it, so I'm gonna need to find a front brake. I need a recommendation for a front brake disc also. I've also got all of the radiator hoses that I'm gonna need. Brand new set of silicone hoses made by AS3. Right, that's it, all the parts are in-house. We've got plenty to crack on with. Let's carry on with this build. Well, that seemed to do the trick. Probably gonna need another coat and maybe a third one, but I'm gonna let that first one dry. I'm gonna crack on with something else. Really wanna get the wheels on because then it's rolling uh, and I can actually move it around a bit better and maybe roll it out of the garage and give myself a bit more space. The wheels is coming up next. <laughs> Now, 
as you can see I've still got the original hardware I've got the old axle and the old nut and as you can see for the time being I've still got the original nut and the original axle and the old chain adjuster blocks a little bit undecided as to what to do with the wheel at the moment because obviously I've, I've got to take it apart to get the new tires on and when I do that that's when I'm going to clean up all the spokes and the hub and the rim and, and do the bearings but I might actually powder coat the hub I was so impressed with the way that the rear shock spring turned out that I might get the I might get the hub and I might get the rim powder coated as well but when we do put this all back together with the new sprocket I've got my bolt motorcycle hardware replacement bolt kit which will have a fresh axle nut in there and it's got fresh sprocket bolts fresh rotor bolts so everything will be looking fresh in 2021 when we put this all back together here is the bolt motorcycle hardware CR replacement bolt pack and in here like I said got fresh axle nut to go on when we put the wheel back together and I will also have some fresh sprocket bolt, some new bolts for the rotor. So everything will be looking crisp. 